Hey friends, today I am in Lakeland, Florida to track down some Walt Disney World props and Disneyland memorabilia right here in the Lakeland Antique Mall. They got a whole bunch of new stuff and I just wanted to come down and give you guys a look-see at some of the amazing things that you can buy. So, let's go do this. Last time we were here, we came across a lot of amazing props from Disneyland, including an actual piece of Cinderella Castle from Walt Disney World. I think they got a lot of new stuff, and I'm excited because it's been at least a good month and a half since I've been here. As soon as I walked in, take a look at this Winnie the Pooh prop right here. It's already sold, but wow, that's amazing. It's actually huge. This is from Disneyland. You got a little piglet there, Pooh. Something to do with uh, the holiday season, but it is a very, very big prop. And it's already sold, already gone. We are gonna take our time and go through all the different Disney World props and antiques and we get you guys a good look. See, I love doing this. I love just discovering new things. And if you have any questions, I'll put the description for Lakeland Antique Mall and you can call them and find out any prices or additional information and everything you see is for sale. So they can even put things on the side for you. So I'll put that in the description of the video and that'd be a lot helpful. Take a look at Gonzo here. Oh wow, this is so cool. I've never seen anything like this. And down below, this is an actual prop from Muppet Vision. You see it says Muppet Vision on there. This is really fancy. I like the little watch he's got going on there. This is also something really awesome. This is a Song of the South 1973 UK movie poster. And take a look at this. It says Zippity Doo Dah, Br'er Rabbit, Uncle Remus. $279. I think the frame alone is worth it. That is amazing. I love it. This is a really cool piece. As you can see, we have a lot of cool new things here. Check out this very old Mickey Mouse. That is really awesome. This is $450. Mickey Butler. And it actually has a little, little tray here to hold cards for recycling the magic. Ooh! They even have a frozen ever after dessert party like box. So this is from Epcot. This is actually one of the podiums. This is where they would have kept the stuff for the uh, frozen ever after dessert party for illuminations. I think right now they're using it to like store just some regular mugs in there, but that is really nifty. As you can see, we have some amazing things still from the last video I did here, including these cast member outfits. Now, I wasn't able to talk about them last time, but these are from the 1990 Very Merry Christmas Party. And you have Cinderella and then Prince Charming right there. These are amazing, aren't they? Glamorous. And they're selling right now for just about $4,750. I mean... It's a really, really cool piece because of how rare they are. And then, of course, this is the piece from Cinderella Castle, the 25-year edition. And that's really awesome. But one thing that caught my eye is the Celebrate America. This is amazing. This is from Disney's California Adventure. This is a performance sign. This was so awesome, wasn't it? That is so rare. $285 for that Celebrate America actual sign. I think that is such a rare piece too. I like California Adventure though. They also have a huge collection of cast member awards and I've seen a couple of these at a different places that I've been to but I've never seen this uh, Partners, Partners in Excellence statue back there. That is so unique. $495. Wow. I've never seen anything like that before. This is a actual Walt Disney Store display. And I like this because look at it. it says Walt Disney Records. It's got Sebastian, 101 Dalmatians, Mastro Mickey himself. $150 for this and it's pretty big. Kind of, kind of light. I like this, this is so cool. I like the vintage things. Like look at that vintage Mickey Mouse down there. Oh wow, that is so nifty. This is $45. I always tend to like very old vintage Disney things or actual theme park used props. Those are like my favorites. I mean, resort used props are fun as well, but like something that was like a ride prop, that really gets me all excited because those are the things I absolutely love. 
like these are Disneyland props. So this is a barrel that was, or a bucket that was used in Disneyland. And then next to the Mary Blair wall here, they have the hometown voting box. I talked about this last time where you actually used to vote for your favorite princess in the parade. I think that's really awesome. This is $495. And then of course, the Disneyland Fantasmic sign. I'm still eyeing up that baby. I think it's so cool. I love that it's a little rusty, but still amazing. Same thing with this one. They're both like such awesome pieces. I would love to have it hanging in my house. $300, oh wait, no, $385 for Fantasmic. And then this big Disneyland with the monorail on it. This one is uh, $395. That's not too shabby for a piece of history. Even the littlest things actually get me excited. Like these are check presenters for restaurants and you can see they have like the plaza. That's really awesome. Liberty Tree Tavern, Wayne Forest Cafe. These are about $95 a piece. And then take a look at all these different license plates. I like this. These are Company D exclusives. Cast members. Ooh, Animal Kingdom Safari. This is a cast member one. These are mostly all cast members. I like these though. I think I need to get this. I like this a lot. Sorry guys, that was a good one. These are really awesome. <gasps> wow, so many good ones. And they're about $35 a piece? Yeah, that's pretty affordable. 35, 25, nice. This looks like a new Disneyland cast member coat. Oh, this one says David on it. I like this. $345, be perfect if your name was David. I mean, that would go really nice, especially for the winter. It looks pretty heavy. Yeah, this is a good winter coat. Also looks like we got a cool sci-fi dining theater restaurant menu in there. That is awesome. I love the artwork on it. It's $100 for that. And then down here, a lot of different name tags. I see Andy, Dolores, Gemma, Robin. Let me see. Lizette, Johnny, Kent, Patrick. These are really cool. And oh, over there, that's a Grand Floridian key. That is pretty fancy. I've seen that before, but the name tags are fun, especially if they're your name. Down here, we have some very old Goofy and Mickey dolls. These are super old. All this stuff is locked in the case right here. That means it's the fancy things. The fancy things are locked up. They also have some amazing Universal Studios props that I see. Some things that are actually fairly new. I'm a little shocked at one of the items that it's actually here. Here is one of the Wax-O-Matic machine signs actually from the Tribute Store at Universal Studios. This is for the Holiday Tribute Store. And I'll actually show you where it was actually at. $299 and that is fairly like so new. And then you have the Trolls World Tour and of course, some of the scarecrows from the scare stock i think those are so awesome because these would come in handy for the halloween season she's probably my favorite right next to the jurassic world fallen kingdom signs these were actually propped and used at universal studios is this room divider and this is from epcot this is from the morocco pavilion in epcot that is such a nifty little thing also take a look at these very old Pinocchio figurines here. I like these because it just looks so amazing. Looks like they're about $595. But wow, they definitely look very old. Not much information, but if you call, they'll be able to give you information. Usually they have like a big description. If not, they'll contact the seller. But that's not a bad buy. Some things like these even, I think are so fun. These are $10 and these are wet paint signs. I actually remember seeing these hanging at like resorts and stuff like that, or even on walls inside the parks. These are really awesome. I can frame one of these. That'd be nice, $10, ooh, rocket rods. And then you have so many different like Disney literature that they used in the parks and they sent them out like ears to ears. And these were all like really affordable things. I like this stuff. This is stuff I would hang on my walls because it's still like kind of like a cool piece and it's a it's a talking piece, you know? All of these tables and desks are really cool. This is a Grand Floridian Resort prop desk. This is a table from the contemporary. I actually remember this contemporary table. That's really nifty. These are lampshades from Art of Animation. These are from the cars area. 
This is $65. This one's not marked. A lot of cool stuff. Even some more of the Polynesian Village Resort Mirrors right there. I'm not sure what this one is though. Oh, these are Saratoga Springs. I like that. It's kind of like a fabric mirror. That's That was from a Saratoga Springs room. And then some more Polynesian mirrors back there. This is a picture of the Liberty Bell. And this was from Saratoga Springs as well. And that's really cool because the Liberty Bell just reopened. But how about this Animal Kingdom Lodge table? Like, I never got to see how detailed it was. But take a look at that. It's got elephants as, like, the base. And then giraffes, rhinos, zebras. And I think this is amazing. This isn't marked either, but that's like a one-of-a-kind piece, I feel like. And then, of course, the Polynesian Resort lamps. These are very popular and still selling. All because of that little guy right there. I could literally spend hours just going through each of these boots one by one and just finding amazing things like it is so massive down here if you've ever come down here you know what I'm talking about and if you haven't what I show you is like not even like 5% of the available boots that they have down here it is literally so massive but I did want to show you a couple more of the boots that are around and about just so I can add them in there because I think it's so amazing like I said it's like this stuff you can barely find out there and it's great that you can actually get it all in one location i love when you just find things that you just wouldn't find any other place like take a look at howie over there and then this soapbox derby car it's like a road one or one that is really fancy this is only 995 dollars but back here they also have a pillsbury doughboy i didn't even notice that but i noticed this before these very old spanish walt disney movie posters you can see you got Pinocchio right here and then Dumbo I think these are so awesome I mean how rare are these do you think $169 and then $169 yeah that's really it's really neat Ronald 1963 for Pinocchio and 1968 for Dumbo those are awesome and of course the styrofoam Pillsbury Doughboy this is so funny. $295 for that. I think that's amazing. It's pretty big. I think it's about five feet. Yeah, five feet tall. These are the types of boots that catch my eye. Like, wow. Can we talk about vintage Mickeys? I've never seen so many before. Look at this one. This one's almost scary looking, isn't it? I love this stuff. And then they also have a pretty big extensive of uh, liquor bottles up there it's a little it's a little strange mix up but hey you gotta do what you gotta do a lot of different mickey mouse tying pieces i like those and then oh some pins and plates is that a walt disney stamp oh it is a walt disney stamp right there 28 dollars, and it's framed i like this stuff I like these big figurines here, but take a look in the back there. We have another Splash Mountain photo frame, and you know those are hard to come by. But the thing that caught my eye are these pin sets from Epcot right here. I don't know much about pins, but these are from 2001. So these are about 20 years old. And this is Stromboli. I love Stromboli. I love Pinocchio, you know? And they seem like they have a pretty good collection of pins here. I like it. I like when you see a big variety of rare old pins. And with that, I think I am done here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I absolutely love making these videos. I love hunting and just finding things. Even if I don't buy anything, it's just, you know, having that shock value. Like, what? Like, you found that there? Like, you know what I mean? Things like that just always, it piques my excitement. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on making uh, a little playlist that adds all of these antique and Disney memorabilia uh, hunting and like make it one playlist so you guys can watch all of it because there were so many things I've seen come and go that blows my mind and I find them in the weirdest places and I think people like it so maybe you would. Anywho's, that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!